half past seven, I think you should be outside um, painting my golf buggy. It's frozen. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I want it done. It matters quite a lot when you put in paint on top of ice. Have you got a hairdryer? Perhaps you could come out and help for a couple of hours or five. No, I'm far too busy being pregnant. Uh, well, I have got an Indian man coming today to look at my pink 59 Cadillac Coopsville pile of crap. Uh, if he's from a Bollywood movie, I'm going to stab him in the heart with a rusty knife. If not, Slightly I'm harsh. I think that is a lot harsh. No, I don't like anyone from Bollywood movies anymore. Um, if I can sell it to him, I can buy another tank. I will have a look at your golf buggy and I'll try and warm it up. I don't know how. <sighs> okay. I think it's something clever. Alright. Well, I can't see this drying out today. Imagine trying to stick masking tape on wet rubber mats. Can't see it happening. And she's dying, dying, dying to get her hands on it and bomb it round the yard. Hmm. Don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Now then, what about the Land Rover? Can we do any spraying on that today? Well, it's got a, got a kind of a dampness yeah, kind of a dampness on it, so I can't see me putting the other colours on top of that. Um, they say it's going to warm up. When it warms up later on in the day, it could produce condensation, which could be a bit of a bummer. I can't do the ferret because I haven't got the points, the new points come yet. Uh, and I'm pretty certain that's what it is. I could, I could attack the E-type all that needs now is the wing mirror doing and the door cards putting on. I got my armrest to arrive and then the girl, the old girl is about done. But I think there's nothing like washing a car in the rain and I reckon this is the time to get the Cadillac sorted. I've got two hours before a potential customer comes. And let's be honest, which would you rather have? A tank or a pink Cadillac? I think it's the tank. But I must keep bearing in mind that it's possibly the only Cadillac Coupe de Ville for sale in the country. They are going up, they are really rare, they're worth even more in America, and I mustn't give it away. Even though it would be lovely to see the back of it. Let's go and have a look at the old girl. Right, well, she's looking a little bit sorry for herself. That's called patina, or mould. A lot of people would call it mould. Me tyres are down. My windows are cracked, but they're only flat glass and the windscreen and the rear screen are good. Uh, not been started for a long time. The last time I used it commercially was for uh, movies for men. And we had a load of gangsters in it, bombing around with machine guns, wheels spinning it around the buildings, with a lot of these Chinese blokes leaping about. But that's about it really. So there you go. I think it's uh, pump the tyres up, get a battery on it, chuck a bit of fuel down the top of the car, turn it over a bit, get it running, give it a power wash. If I could do that in two hours, we could turn that into a, oh, I don't know, 432 or an Abbott or something nice like that. I've got lots of things being offered to me at the moment for sale. It's time the old girl's gone. Now, the other sad, sad thing is this. I bought this on a whim five or six years ago. And do you know what? I've never really used it. It just sits there with a solar panel on it, keeping it charged, and we never take it out. I'm always filthy dirty or taking something big somewhere. The only vehicle for me is a Range Rover. What else have we got to go? Um, this Aston Martin Farage, never ever used it, don't know why I bought it. Cadillac Seville, fantastic motor, 150 mile an hour, naught to 60 in about six and a half seconds, worth bugger all. Incredibly smooth, three types of music, leather, everything you could ever want in a car. If I was on a budget and I wanted a flash motor, that would be it. Quite incredible. Small oil leak on the front on a pipe, which I've got to fix. But again, will I ever use it? Very rare, only 60 made because it's right hand drive Cadillac. Uh, what else have we got? This Range Rover is the TD V8. Stunning piece of kit, never ever use it because if I did, I would be being unfaithful to my blue Range Rover that I've had almost from new and it has been incredible. 200,000 miles and all I've had is a gearbox let me down once. It has been a stunner, very little trouble. 
And these, well, you know, nice to look at. You couldn't use one. You couldn't take it out on the road. It'd break down. This you could, but it'd shake you to death. More of an off-roader. Yes, cars. I caught coronavirus a lot longer before everybody else did. Trust me, stick to a tank or something military. They're always going up. If you ain't a lot of trouble, and they're an awful lot of fun. Look at that old baby there. Well, I put a new battery on it, and the end of the cable looked a bit gobby, so I've even put the massive expense of putting a new plus terminal on. And now we're getting a bit of, chuck a bit of go juice down the old carb. Kinda looks like it's running out the bottom. Nah, it couldn't be. Right, let's see. Let's see how lucky we could be. Oh dear, what could the matter be? My Cadillac smells like a lavatory. Right, what do you reckon? Will it go, will it go, will it go? Bloody hell, it fired. Unbloody believable. Come on, baby, come on, baby, you can do it. Whoops. I don't think he's... No, that was running on its own. Oh, oh, oh that was exciting. She blows, she blows. Now, it's not on fire, that's a good sign. The compressor's running, so I can pump the tires up. It doesn't need an MOT, and it doesn't need road tax. What's to stop me going on a test drive later with my new Indian best friend? Unless he's from a Bollywood movie, then we're just gonna kill him and feed him to the dogs. Look at that, baby. That could be doing proms. And the difference between this and a Ferrari doing a prom is with a Ferrari, you've got one spotty kid and he's paid 400 quid and he thinks he's been shafted. And the problem is there's only room for one 400 spotty kid. And he's using so much petrol and he needs a clutch every 3,000 miles. Where are this great big pink piggy? You can stuff seven kids in the back of this at 200 pound a piece. That's 1,400 pounds. And it costs bugger all to run, really, apart from petrol. Look at that pinchy go. Well, it's ticking over like a pussycat. Apparently the engine was rebuilt shortly before I bought the car. And now all we've really got to do is rebuild the car. Maybe get the green stuff off it. They didn't bother to start it at the docks when it was imported. They just pushed it around on the chrome bumpers with a forklift. But that's what you expect from dockers, bless them. You've got to love them, haven't you? Interesting cracks on the glass, but luckily only on the sides, which is flat glass, and you can buy that on eBay. And that moss, that adds to its value, really. That's patina. That could be American moss. Good boot on it. You get a couple of people in the back of that boot. And those bullet lights, aren't they cool, eh? It's just a lovely shape. Right, bucket of water job, I think. Well, the Indian gentleman, for want of a better word, and more appropriate word, has, um, who assured me he wasn't a time waster, has just rang up to say he can't make it today, but he'd like to come another day to look at my beautiful rare Cadillac. I don't think so. Or maybe we'll let him come, but we'll have a bit of fun with him. Who knows? But I know of a better project for a nice sunny Saturday afternoon when you've got a young wife who's desperate to get on her golf buggy. Chubbs, what are you up to? <laughs> you think I'm just keeping warm, don't you? Yeah. It's not like you're working. How are you supposed to be able to afford me more diamonds if you just 
keep him warm on the floor. I'm just um, remodelling your mud guard there. Mm -hmm. It was a bit deformed and I don't bend it until I walk into it. Now listen, right, I've had to wait a whole 24 hours and it's still not ready for me to use. I'm getting impatient, I'm getting annoyed. If you want your dinner, I suggest we get this sprayed and sorted. Um, I'm going to do my best, but um, it's wet in places. I keep blowing the water off. You keep well, coming back. You're full of hot air, mate. Just keep blowing. <gasps> <laughs> I would like to think I'll get it in paint today. Get it in green anyway, then we'll camo it up tomorrow. Can have a bit of orange? You, you, want, you want orange? Yes, I think orange. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I like the three colour camo. Then I like green and orange because I wanted my car orange. I'll, let you, I'll, I'll tell you what, you the can surprise going, me. The only vehicles that we'll have in three coloured camouflage would be uh, snatches. Yeah. And they're going so well we won't have snatches for long right. so you don't want it kind of matching them if there ain't going to be other, any others so I think it's green with orange stripes okay roger that All right, darling. you missed a bit <laughs> I can't smell a thing because I got my mask on that fucker on the other end. Currently spraying it with thinners, I believe. You can spend hours and hours rubbing something down. Or you can spray it with thinners and that will kind of burn the surface a little bit and then you put your paint on and it'll stick and it won't come off. Mm. Saves a lot of time. What's all your noise about? Huh? What's all your noise about? Oh, sit down. Sit. No, she don't listen. <laughs> she what she wants is mummy's chocolate. And you can't have it because it's bad for doggy. But it's not bad for mummy because she's pregnant. So she can eat as much as she likes. Not a bad job so far. Oi, Chubby, you missed a bit. You missed a bit there, and there, and there, and there. <laughs> I'm just trying to wind him up. <laughs> Little Winnie wanted to be on camera. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Nah, not having it today. <laughs> Hi, the orange is now going on. We opted for orange and green because orange is my favourite colour. And green, really. The camera. You're doing a fabulous job. Looking proper snazzy. Is that even a word anymore? Any luck I should be using that tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, there's not enough orange. I need more. I'll bet you a pound to a penny you're driving this before the paint's dry. Yep. I still need more orange. Look at that lovely little production line. <laughs> but the most important things on that ferret are the chocolate, the coffee and the mince pie. So we are still eating mince pies. We've got like five boxes. Yeah. Carol, a very nice job. You should be very proud of these. Oh, exciting! 
I will no longer have a bad back. I will no longer you're not, have to You're allowed walk. to demask it tomorrow, but you're not allowed to drive it tomorrow. Why? I don't see. Because that paint, it's great paint, but it takes a long time to dry. Nobody can see what I'm stamping my feet like a moody child right now. <laughs> yeah. I want <laughs> to use it. I like it, it looks great. Alright, go on then, you can sit in it, but you must touch the, the other side, you can sit in it. No, no, the other side, don't touch the steering wheel, don't touch this back, you mustn't touch the handle, getting in, you oh see... Oh can I just get in it or not? You see, everything that's got paint is wet. Don't touch the steering wheel. Then you don't move. Oh my God, the dog's in too. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, that suits you, that does, sweetie pie. <laughs> oh, you don't roll it. I shouldn't have told you about the turbocharged choke lever. I don't. Uh, Nigel's already said he can soup, soup it, soup it, soup it up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you will too. Yeah, it looks nice. It goes very nicely with our truck, doesn't it? Now we've just bigged up Carol, the trimmer, for doing this fantastic job. Um, I think probably 15 months ago, I picked up this. Uh, crew cab for running over and I think we paid 80 or 90 quid for it the clutch had gone and a few other faults it turned out the clutch was 26 quid which I couldn't really believe but anyway it was 26 quid and I beat out the inner wing of a Cadillac that I'd uh, had an accident in for uh, one of the wings I'm pretty certain it was this side and um, I beat it out roughly to the shape and I welded it in there and any rusty bits I'll beat them in hard and, um, and then we rubbed it all down and I painted it in my special non-corrosive pylon paint and then three days later when it had gone hard I then did all the filler work on all the dents and I reckon it probably had 50 dents on it and um, basically uh, painted it again and got a nice shape and then we put the orange stripes on and like I say it must have been 15-16 months ago and in the same week, Kate's car went off to be sprayed. Uh, it's not here at the moment, her Range Rover. And I was charged £650 to do the wheel arches and a bit on the tailgate. And it is all come through. Great big blisters and bubbles and it looks a shambles. 650 quid it cost. And that paint on that probably cost me 30 quid. And um, all that time later, it still looks like new. So I think there's a chance that Kate's Range Rover could easily get me doing the job on it with a decent paint that resists corrosion and lasts forever. Watch this space. This is our new British Army um, enemy colour and a big fleet of my vehicles will be done in this colour scheme and uh, hopefully get a bit of work. Do you know that dog's treading on your foot? I know, he's quite happy. That's his sign of affection, isn't it, when he puts his paw on your foot? Walking now. Yeah, let's take him off for a little jog. Okay. Winnie, you're going to be the uh, the bait. You run away, he chases you. Okay. Uh, he's a mummy's boy. You wouldn't do that the funny thing is that great big hound there can no way keep up with that thing like a whippet. Winnie, sit. No, sit. 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 Wet bum. What a disobedient dog, is it because you're here? No, she did it to me earlier. Did she? I shall have to. Uh... Winnie, I'll bath you. <laughs>